What's up everybody, my name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And I'm sure a whole bunch of you have been in the situation where you needed to drill a whole bunch of holes real fast in wood, your large diameter, and you reached for your hole saw kit. Hole saw kit's great because there's a whole bunch of different sizes that you could buy bigger, smaller hole saws. They cut fairly rapidly. The problem is, is that once you cut the wood, you're stuck with a plug. You gotta get the plug out of the hole saw. What if I told you there was a faster way to cut through framing wood, drill your holes, and on top of it, it would be a long lasting solution. Is that something you'd be interested in? Oh yeah. Yeah? Well good, we're gonna tell you all about it right after we tell you all about our sponsor, VCG Construction. Head on over to the website. You can buy nice tech shirts, t-shirts, black embroidered with the VCG logo, get yourself some hats, stickers. There's a link down in the description below. These are Milwaukee's switchblade style bit. This one is two and nine sixteenths. It's product number 4825-5150. Now, here's the deal. These are said to drill holes up to 10 times faster in wood. These are made for clean holes. This is a Forstner style bit, okay? The thing is, is that these Forstner style switchblade bits, they're not inexpensive, but we're gonna talk about why these are very long lasting and why these are more of an investment than a standard Forstner style bit. Standard Forstner style bit, you can, I guess you could sharpen it and such, send it out for sharpening. These, you don't have to do that. And why is that? Because they have a replaceable blade. Pretty cool. This is a rebuildable drill bit. Now, unlike a traditional Forstner style bit, this is a fast drilling bit. This is a self-feed bit, okay? It does have some accessories available to it. I'm gonna talk about them in a second. I wanna get this unboxed or clamshelled. Another good feature about this Forstner style bit, it has a 7 16 hex built into it. So what does that mean? It means it's made for a quick lock style chuck system. So we open up the clamshell and you'll see, whew, this just looks like it's made for work. Now this is your cutting edge here. And this is just a, feels like a well built bit. You can see you have your self feeding pilot point. Pretty cool. Now. Here's the deal. The good thing about this switchblade is there's a whole bunch of support. When I say support, what I mean is, is that you can buy replacement blades. This switchblade is replaceable. It comes in packs of three. This bit, this two and nine sixteenths bit, $60 drill bit, the way it stands here, okay? But after it dulls, instead of sending it out to have it resharpened, okay, or having to get rid of it, depending on if you, let's just say you nicked this cutting edge, okay, you, it might not be resharpenable. You can replace this switchblade and then boom, you're back to work. We have our set screw here. You're going to back off that set screw. You're gonna back this off And I find that making sure it's on a stable little surface here, like this, because it's in, it's in there. Okay, we're gonna loosen that up. We're gonna back it off three to four turns. Oh, look, they have blue lock plate in there. Pretty cool. You don't need to fully remove that set screw. Once that's loosened up, you're able to pull out the self-feed screw. Okay, now, if you damage the self-feed screw, we have a second self-feed screw in our bag. The blades, okay, now that the self-feed screw is out, you're able to just pop out that switch blade. Okay. These are sold in packs of three. They're 25 bucks for a pack of three. So what you've done is you've extended the life of this $60 bit, drill bit. This is as simple 
as if you got your new switch blades. It's as simple as getting your new blade, popping it into the slot here, okay? I mean, I don't think there's any way <laughs> that you could install this wrong. I'm sure some of you could. Maybe I could, I don't know. Okay, but you pop it in, line it up, grab your selfie bit, okay? You'll see the notch here, okay? You'll see a pin down there. You're just gonna line those up, pop it in, okay? That locks in your switchblade. Once that's done, you're gonna tighten down your set screw. Now, if we snug it up, you'll see it's locked in there good, okay? But because it was really torqued down and it was locked tight, tighted in there, okay? You're just going to put it maybe on a solid surface, okay? Be careful okay? and just kind of torque down. You don't want to strip it out. You want to really snug that baby up, okay? Now, your switchblade is ready to go back to work. Pretty cool. I mentioned that the shank is 7 sixteenths. That means it's made for 7 sixteenths collets on power tools. And there's a line of extensions from Milwaukee. Look, this is their 12 inch quick lock extension. This is impact rated. Okay, this is part number 4828-1040. Great thing about having the ability to pop this in and out of extensions. Number one, there's different le length extensions. This is a 12 inch, they have a six inch, okay? It helps you to get your switchblade where you need it. And boom, it positive, look at that, how positive that insertion is. We don't have to worry about tightening down chucks. Now, can you put this in a chuck, in a tool? Sure, but this switchblade and this quick lock extension are made for tools that have a quick lock chuck system like this super hog from Milwaukee tool this has that quick lock chuck system okay this thing is made to drill holes this bit is made to drill holes all day this is for the person that all day every day that's all they do they're drilling those holes through wood for a rough end for the rough end okay maybe they're swapping in and out of different sizes, okay? They're keeping their extension, or maybe they're not using an extension. They're going direct to the super hog. This is one of those tools that, yeah, you say to yourself, ah, man, you know, maybe I would want a, a, a standard style chuck. Maybe you would, okay? But if this is what you're doing day in, day out, and you're drilling those holes, okay? And you're swapping back and forth, this is going to speed up your workflow. This is going to speed up your workflow. This is going to speed up your workflow. And if you like speeding up your workflow, then smash the like button. Also, if it's your first time here, you're not already, get subscribed and tap the bell because we go over new tools or tools that have been around for a while that you might not have seen and want to know how to service them. If you like that, get subscribed, tap the bell, and tell a friend. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Oh, yeah. Let us know down in the comment section below. You want to see the super hog, or should I just put it right out to the job? I mean, I'd love to unbox it here for you. But it's got to get to work. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.